This is part one of the endothermic versus exothermic lab. So right now, I've put five milliliters of acetic acid into a test tube. And we need to check the temperature of that so we can see what it will be after the reaction. And you can see that's about somewhere around 18, 18.5. Okay, now we're gonna add a bit of sodium bicarbonate into the acetic acid. It's going to fizz up. If we check the temperature of that, Sorry, one second. Now it's about 23. So it went from about 18 to 23. All right, this is part two, and I've got five milliliters of hydrochloric acid in that test tube right here. And we're just gonna check the temperature of that right now. So it's about 20, 20-ish. 20 okay, now we're gonna put in a small amount of magnesium into it. I'm gonna wait for that to dissolve. So the magnesium hasn't completely dissolved, but the temperature is already at 52 degrees, 53. So you can see the increase in temperature there. Okay, this is part three of the lab. I've got about 10 milliliters of water in this test tube. And we're gonna take a thermometer and see what the temperature is. So it's about room temperature. 
about 22.1. Okay. And right here we've got some magnesium sulfate, and we're going to add that into the solution, or the water. Been added. And it's been dissolved, so let's check the temperature on that real quick. Okay. As you can see, there was a little change, but not much. Okay, this is part four of the lab, and I've got 10 milliliters of water again in this test tube. And we're just going to go check the temperature of that again. So that's about the temperature of the water right now. It's about room temperature. Okay. And now we're going to add a little bit of this calcium chloride right here into the water. Okay, it's starting to dissolve. It'll probably take a little while. Okay, so right now it's about 24 degrees Celsius in the test tube. And we could wait for it to dissolve a little more, but we've already seen the temperature change. So that's it.